Well, Carl. Carl! Carl, that kills people. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Kona Day 1, the preview build. And yeah, we just finished looking through this house where the poor woman got frozen pretty much solid. Uh, I think I should... Yeah, I should drive this. Oh, there's a pole in the fence. Can I walk in here? Ooh, I love that I can do that. I doubt I'm gonna find something helpful in here, but I just am in an exploratory mood. Kind of looks like there's a path. I can open. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna head back because otherwise I'm just gonna lose myself in there. Ah, this game's really fitting with the current temperatures, I gotta say. I don't know. Playing this in summer... Maybe it would cool me down, who knows? Oh, yeah, well, come on, we're gonna head... Well, wherever we're gonna head now. To the next place! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna call you... Timothy. I'm gonna call my car Timothy now. Uh, wait. Oh, right, we went in the circle. I wish I could look at my... Oh, I can look at my map inside. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, sharpen... Turning sharpening on really made a difference. Okay, we went to that house. We should go to the one on the left there. Okay. Oh, I like that. I can look at both. Okay, yep, there it is. There's said house. Put the map away. That's great. Looking at the map and driving perfectly safe. Right, bring it to a standstill. Oh, the, the garage is open. I guess we're gonna have a look in there first before we break and enter into that one. Hey there, anyone home? Oh, probably not. Okay, this thing is empty. No more cars. Oh. An aging car was parked here. Obviously. Carl could picture the notary's heavy sedan with a huge back seat large enough to fit the whole family. Notary, okay. I didn't know the notary was living here, but now we do know. What's that? A lamp. Very good. Can we find a hammer in here? I'd love to find one. Uh, some nails. I mean, nails are great and all, but a true Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Wow, yeah. Obviously, Carl <laughs> thought someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. Ah, it's 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 it's, it's up for interpretation. Indeed, too small to fit in a door lock. Hmm. What sort of miniature object was it meant for? Well, I assume that the key was meant for the what's its face. The key was meant for the mailbox. Man, this looks so good. Especially with sharpening on, this looks fantastic. Oh, I can swing a hammer. Anything under the doormat? Yep, a key. For Christ's sake, yet another key hidden under a doormat. <laughs> Nowadays, Carl found his job didn't present him with much of a challenge. Well, you still got to investigate. Probably used the to watch Le Jeu like de Seigneur. The kind that reminds you of the good lord. Of peace. Uh, I think I'm okay. I, I lit a fire. Fine. That's that's cool. Uh, you can uh, save the game next to a fire, which is actually an interesting mechanic. Um, enough food for rough times. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea to keep a lot of food around. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Why didn't he? Nah, just because nobody wants to go to church when it's snowing that much. I mean, honestly, who who has the nerves? Should we drive, I don't know, 30 minutes through the snow in a snowstorm, honey? Or should we just stay in and, you know, warm up? I, I think, yeah. Clock, bath, drop, tub, drain. How do I know that? How do I see that? That doesn't matter. Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? That is an interesting one. The race for toys was stupefying. Is that is that an image reference or something? I don't know. Uh, you can't you can't have enough toys when you're out here. I mean, how else are you gonna entertain kids in the winter? Go and play. Uh, what does this one say? Love of religion and ancestors was rooted deep inside the hearts of Canadians of old, hmm. to which the Bedards appeared to be closely related. The Bedards place is a smile. Yes, please smile. Kids drawings. Okay. Uh, woof. A dog. A castle. A Dog with red eyes, it's all kind of peculiar, but whatever. What is that? Histoire. Okay, teachings. Is that a journal? That's great. I have a diary. Surely this Ooh. Jean Luc Bedard could lead Carl to Hamilton. 
AKA Uncle Willie. Okay, let me read this. I have a diary just like mom. Unlike her though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love to write my mind. And about Martin most of all. I love talking about him. I think he loves me too, just like in Romeo and Juliet. People don't like it when I see him, only because he's a bleh. But just like in the story, nothing can stand in the way of true love. Aww. I lost appetite. I can't sleep anymore. How much later is that? Oh, two days. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. That's making me see Dr. Beaupre with his big hands touching me everywhere. His foul breath exhaling all over my face. Yuck. I'm not sick. I'm in love. I love Martin so much. There's nothing I like better than thinking about us playing together. Like we always do. I wonder if he found the key I lost the other day. He was pretty sad when I did. Because it's for his dad's garden shed. And Martin has always been afraid of him. Ah, look at that. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. The key fell in the burn next to the shed. Poor Martin, he cried like a baby, but I still love him. Hmm, a burn next to the shed. Okay, that's probably where we're gonna have a look then. It's fairly interesting. Thanks for that nice clue. But if he can't get it, why should I be able to get it out of there? I mean, I do like that we have a hammer. That means we can uh, repair the bridge, apparently. We have nails on a hammer, so that's the thing that I'm going to do. Hmm... Anything in here? Ooh. Read. Let's see. Mother's the journal. Had vacated the premises. Carl gathered they would be of no help. Jean-Luc never had a knack for mathematics. Try as he might, he'll never realize that he simply cannot be the father of the child I'm bearing. But how can I be sure? I have to keep this a secret at least until the time is right when it'll be safe. Dr. Beaupre told me it would start showing soon, that I couldn't keep it hidden forever. Gotta muster courage, he said with his usual condescending tone. Courage to face what's coming, but he doesn't get it all. For him, I just had some child of affair. He doesn't realize I bought eternal damnation upon myself. Yep, that you did. Marie is very sick, and Jean-Luc plunges into despair. Mm. I told him nothing about the evil growing inside me. Evil growing inside of you? Sometimes I get a feeling he can see right through me. My Mary's suffering and I'm the one to blame. Oh Lord Almighty, why do children have to pay for their parents' sins? Ha, huh, weird. Okay, I thought the child was pregnant, but yeah, she seems too young for that. Hmm. Oh, is that a brush? Oh no, it's a, it's a light. That makes things a little bit easier. All right, and that's a child's room, a diaper, the windows open. The family's mother must have Isn't spent it? her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. Um, probably. Yeah, you can't you can't get one-way diapers out here that easily, or you know they're pricey. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Fire's burning. What's on the fridge? That's a note. Oh, I, I don't I don't have an interest. I want to read the note. I guess it's 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 a schoolwork. It says 100% bravo. Okay, nothing in here. I already looked for all of that stuff. Was something in this place? Oh no, that just leads outside. Okay, good times. I do wonder why this has two entry doors. I mean, it's just one room. Why would you need two entry doors? Guess I guess yard in front, but eh, why not? His one door is blocked. I have no idea. Okay, so we could potentially find the key. Let's let's get in here first. We could potentially find the key in the burn next to the shed. I'd like to find that one. And I would also like to repair the bridge. Let's have a quick look on the map. Right, we're down here. So there's one more house down the path that I'd like to see. That I haven't been yet. Oh, jeez. Ah, don't... <laughs> Driving and looking at the map is a tricky thing. Don't, don't text and drive or read... Oh! Okay, I nearly flipped my car. Let's put that map away. Then again, I kind of need to have a look. Okay, it's coming up on the right. Okay, let's keep an eye out for a mailbox. That's usually a good indicator, I guess. That storm, though. Okay, there it is. Perfect. I must have some fantastic winter tires. All right, there you go. Oh, a little dog hut. Oh, I should break. Oof. Close call. I doubt I can crash into something. Ooh. Little doggy hut. Poor doggy. It's not allowed to stay inside. Let's look for the trash. The bottle. Yay. It was a classic Canadian house. Except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. Hmm. You mean a boot? Okay, uh... I don't see anything in here, just a pantry. Oh, there's a note. By the way, can we, like, flick a light switch or something? 
There it is. Ah, that's much better. Runs also a little bit better than having my flashlight on. All right, what's that? The fantasy page one. Mathieu had yet to add murderer to this curriculum. He was fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones and taking the life of a flesh and bone individual who the night before was still able to think, dream, fantasize, calculate, read, held the promise of the exhilarating sensation. Okay, this seems to be a uh, little, yeah, the fantasy page one seems to be a little book of sorts. Okay, grab that log. Applejax or Jux. That was a real thing. I, I do love the attention to detail. It's really great. It makes this place feel so alive. Oh, orange juice. Lots of sausages. Come on. Oh, is that a... That, that's a cookie jar. Cookie jars are always too high to reach. Uh, I guess I can't do anything here. Yeah, let's keep all the doors and drawers open. So people know that I've been ransacking the place. Simone de Beauvoir. Claude Lévi-Strauss. Hannah Arendt. Roland Barthes, Carl was surprised by the literature filling this liberal-leaning bookcase. Could there really be intellectuals dwelling in this far-off land? Why not? Why not? Or they just have them to feel fancy. Okay, family the portraits. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. Hmm. The couple seemed to be very good friends. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness. I, I don't know what that means. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. Maybe they were having an affair, this, the guy from this place and there, I, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Okay, some aspirin, this is always good. I'm just stealing stuff wherever I can find it. Ooh, chaton, beautiful, beautiful kitten, kitten. Oh, what's that? Is that the next page? The fantasy, page two. All right, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna read that. I'm, I'm not feeling too much like a novel, reading a novel right now. Oh, cigarettes, fantastic. And a drawer with Kunapoli. <laughs> All manners of clothing were gone. I assume As they left, they just like everyone. Town with their closet in tow. And I guess here we have the third page of the novel. Worn out fabric. Well, I guess they've been sitting on that couch. Who would have thought? Oh, yeah, Not rifle. A single rifle left. I guess that they took it with them. Bad sign, Carl surmised. Well, if they take their clothing, why not the rifles? What's in here? Ammunition. Yes, please. Can I? Can, can I has? Can I hat? No, I can't. Okay. I'm. I'm not worthy of ammunition. I don't have a rifle, so. Might as well go without one of these. Okay, I doubt I'm gonna find anything more in here. Mm. Anything in these little ones? Nope, nothing in this. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. Close the pantry. Well, that was interesting, if but not really eye-opening. Well, seems like a pretty normal residence. Diary was interesting though. That's uh, that gave me a good hint. Close the door. I just don't want to keep it open. Okay, so Anything on this property that might be of value for me? Mm, not really. I see some wolf footsteps. We could follow those just for giggles. Maybe they will lead me somewhere. Oh yes, in fact they do. Uh, some beers. I, I think I can't take anymore. I'm already full with good things like that. We could light a fire here. And we have a little shed full of goodies. Fire starters. Is that is that a flare? I have no idea what that is. Hard to hard to tell. Can't pick it up though. That is a huge magnet. Okay, I'm gonna have to save this and reload because I don't seem to be able to pick up anything, and that huge magnet is gonna help me to get the key that we've been talking about. Alright, now I'm next to a fire, now I can save. Alright, let's try this again. Magnet! Yes, now I can pick it up, so. <laughs> And this is a flare. Very good. Yeah, if you have the problem, if you can't pick something up, you might have to restart. Yeah, as I said, it's a preview build. Nothing's perfect. So there is the occasional bug, but so far this has been running great. What is this? Oh, Polaroids. I should probably take more pictures. Okay. Ooh, an axe. I, I doubt I can just take that, but then again. Yep, I can bring it. An axe. Not too shabby. 
Would Carl keep... felt he needed to protect himself. Well, Carl. Carl. Carl, that kills people. Okay, we're gonna head back to the place. Now we have a strong magnet which we can use to get the key out of the little thing next to the shed. So we can make it back in there. I forgot where it is, but yeah, we got a few things to do. We got to open the mailbox. I think that was the little key. We got to open a shed and we got to repair a bridge. Yeah, the last one is still really weird to me. Okay, let's hold to that weapon. And we're on our way. I do really feel that they nailed the distance here. This feels like a real place. It's absolutely fantastic. Road again. Okay, we're gonna go to the right. There's the fence. Thanks. Don't flip on me. Okay, perfect. Am I at the right place? I'm not entirely sure if this was the one with the... This is not the one with the shit, right? Just making sure. Oh, well, it has a bigger property, but no, this is not... This is not the one with the shit. What is this? You know, I'm, while I'm here, I might as well check out this interesting location. Can't hurt. Looks like a cave. Ooh, yes. Oh. I assume it used to be a cave. Well, I guess we're not going inside of this thing. This is crumbled, if it ever used to be a cave. Or mine, or whatever. There's no way in anymore. Man, you are resilient birds, aren't you? According to my map, the residence is gonna come up on the left. I think that was a wolf on the road. Yep, there it is. All right, so the girl wrote that the key fell into a burrow right next to it. Oh, yeah, there. Uh, let's use a magnet. Oh. Oh. Um, I'm gonna have to attach something to that magnet first. Well, that's, that's quite annoying. Is there maybe a sewing station thing in here? I remember some houses had those. I wonder if I can combine. There it is, okay. Combine this with the magnet. Okay, so we combine the thread with the magnet. I like that. That's that's pretty cool. And now we can fish the key out of here. A and key. what could it be for? Maybe for this. Yes. Carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone. I got it. More Ooh, than a, few tricks a flare gun. It up. Very good. If and a flare. He venture deep into the woods. Carrying a flare gun definitely wouldn't hurt. I mean, not Zoom. that anyone would At find best, me. He could probably scare some beasts off. Yeah, that's At probably worst, helpful. He was in for a nice little firework. <laughs> okay, got some nails. E here we got some fire starters. It's it's a good find. It's a good find. A chainsaw not working. Well, I don't think I need a chainsaw right now. It's cool that like even in the top of the place there's stuff. Okay, we get some gas that I can't seem to pick up. I don't need it right now. Maybe we can use it with another container or something that we can fill with it or... I, I don't know. Anything else of interest? I mean, I would actually really like to just venture out in the woods eventually. Just to see what's hiding there. But for now, I want to know where the bridge is that needs repairing. I mean, it wasn't a bridge, it was more of a dock, but I don't remember where it is. Oh, wait a second. I just realized that at the end of the road, there is a house. I don't know if we can even get there or if that area is blocked off in this version. I guess we're gonna figure it out together, shall we? Let's take a little drive. I'm starting to like this car. Maybe just because it's like, it, it felt so well made. It really feels great. Okay, I'm gonna head over the bridge real quick. Ah, uh, that bridge is so crooked. Ah, uh, it makes me really nervous. Actually, oh, look at that, another dock. I'm, I'm at Dr. Beaupre, Beaupre I, I can't pronounce his name, at his house. And oh, look at that, we found some fire starters, some nails that I can't pick up anymore. This looks like a pair of pliers, I already have one of those. And a little path alongside the lake. I don't think I'm gonna follow this path now. I was just curious because I haven't checked out this region yet. You know, we drove to this, like, accident site. Um, I wonder if we can keep going, though. It doesn't... 
Nope. Looks like the path here is completely gone. Road turned into nothingness. Wow. Yeah. Kyle hated dead ends. Made him feel trapped. It seemed like the lake managed to completely swallow the road. It seemed like? No, it, it did. So, I guess the only path is through the blocked wall. Because the path here is gonna lead to this wall with the ice. Which then turns into four figures staring at me. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. He was going back to the realm of visions. Yeah, he was going back. Isn't that... Aren't Carl you the one? No issue recognizing the spirit-like figures. Yeah. He couldn't figure out what they wanted from him. Maybe... The Phantom, freed of reality's shackles, ah, vanished in the forest. Look at her. Earlier, Carl had witnessed a tragedy that befell it. Okay, we got the first. We got the first. We found her, um, in her house. So, she then is removed from that barrier? It, that, that is pretty much the, the, the assumption that I'm rolling with right now. I don't know what happened to the other three, but I will hopefully find out. The further Carl moved away from the ice block, the more his senses came back to him. Yes, they did. Yeah, I, I have no idea what happened to the others. I hope I get some clue when I repair uh, that boat dock that is broken. That I get some clues and that I can do something with the key. But we got to keep in mind that this game is not finished yet and it doesn't want me... <laughs> it doesn't want me to find everything or nothing... Not everything is in the game yet, so even if I would try, I would not be able to complete this yet. So the only thing that I want to do right now is to repair that boat dock. And I totally forgot where that is. I'm gonna find that and, and we're gonna continue. I'm just gonna follow the wolf's footsteps in the hopes that this is gonna lead me somewhere, but... Yeah, this is not where I remember that broken dock to be. No, we found the tent. Definitely something in there. I wonder if I can... Ah, uh, crouch in here to get that. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, I could start a fire. Um, I... Seems there's a shovel and a backpack. I would love to look at the backpack, but... There's no way. Um... And I don't see anything else. Let's have a quick look at the map where we are. We're on the lake. Just following along here a bit. Okay, that's the river that's dividing. So there's no way that we can cross, if I'm not mistaken. So the one thing that I've been missing is the dock that I, for the life of me, can't find. Well, this marked as a special location here, but I can't believe... I, I feel like I'm losing my mind slowly in this game. <laughs> not because of the weird events that have transpired, like people frozen solid in place. No, because I can't find that dock. I right, put that away. I can't pick this up. This seems like it leads nowhere. If I didn't have a map that would tell me exactly where I am, I, I would have no problem to get lost in here. Like, completely not lost. Oh! It seems that I'm a little bit cold. Why wouldn't I bring gloves? I guess they all took their gloves, so I can't steal any. Well, the game is indeed really good at feeling like you're in a strange, different place you've never been before and trying to find your way around. And by that I don't mean that I'm just lost. I just, you know, actually have the feeling to be in... Wait, 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 this looks good. Did we find it? Finally we found it. Jeez, that took me longer than I care to admit. And I hope this gives us some important clues as... I mean, is it... There is a little box that looks interesting, okay. So I got a hammer and I got a nail. I'm 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 Carl the Builder. <laughs> I must have spent hours building this. I should be frozen solid at this point, but hey. I'm the one to judge. Okay, we got some first aid kit that I already have and flares and ammunition. Just some beers. That's that's all? That's all you're giving me? That's that's all you're giving me? No no clues, no nothing? Oh! Why would you... Why would you make me go through all of this trouble for no clues? <laughs> oh, well. I do think this is a good point to uh, end this um, early access preview and keep investigating once the full version releases. Unless 
you guys uh, that have played this already know that there's more to um, this than I'm seeing right now. We have a good idea that something weird has been happening and we need to find out more and need to find probably other victims to this weird paranormal ice. I, I'm not entirely sure to open that blockade and there's some weird stuff going on and I'm really intrigued and I'm really looking forward to the release in March. So if you guys would like to see the full uh, playthrough of this game, let me know in the comments below. In any case, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel, I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.